What's up guys, it's Niall, and welcome back to my creative world. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all my house on my creative world. I mean, it's not technically my house, I haven't even furnished the inside, but this is the house, I feel like most people when they build houses on like a, a world, they consider one house to actually be like their favorite and like that's their house. So that's what this house is for me. I built this house probably, let's see... It's, it was close to when I built the yacht, so around two years ago, and it's just been sitting on the world for a while, so I thought I'd uh, show y'all. Why'd my hard drive just turn on? I did nothing to do that. That makes no sense. All right, so I got that taken care of, so let's get into it. So to start off, the pathway, uh, as you can see, it kind of just ends nowhere. I had plans for this, but never got around to them. So this is this is how it starts. But basically I I wanted it to be like a nice pathway going through the woods cuz this house has a lot of property. Of course, if it's going to be my house, you know, got to make it the best as possible. So I gave it a whole forest and you just go down this pathway and you have this nice little uh I don't know, wetland area. And then you can barely get a glimpse of the house. And then you have this nice little bridge coming out of a cave, I mean the, the river is coming out of a cave, or the creek I guess, and it, it goes down into the pond, but you got this nice just little nature area, and then if you keep walking down the path, you're meted by a gate, or kind of a gate, and so this is like where you first mainly enter like the house kind of grounds, and all of a sudden the house comes out of nowhere, to your left, and it's got this whole peninsula to itself. Uh, so, okay, so we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the inside real quick because the inside's not too special. I do have to admit, I didn't really do the interior. I think I mentioned that earlier. I, I just, I, I barely did it. And, oh, and also some things will look different. Like originally I didn't make that blue, but I built this house before I started using the natural texture pack. But I think for the most part, it still looks pretty good. So that's why I kept it on today. All right. So let's let's just let's just start covering this all right so if you walk in you're greeted by this huge double staircase and we will go around the base floor and then go upstairs so these dudes aren't normally they kind of look like motorcycle guys but they're not normally that i think they were just like what is this like iron armor so it was just like iron armor on statues and that was like the very beginning of me like decorating the house but in this texture pack it just does not look good at all and as you can see I barely did anything I just did flooring and these bushes basically um all right so we, okay so we'll go over here because this is the really least finished area see this room I never really had a plan for I thought I might put a piano here and just have it as a nice like extra side room that's just good for hanging out and whatnot, but that never got done. And then on the opposite side, we have the dining room. And I kept this kind of theme going out through some of these rooms where you have this little outline. And I think it looks really good with this texture pack. If we go past the dining room, it leads straight into the kitchen. This is something I do quite often because I think kitchen should be connected to the dining room since these two rooms kind of connect, like you use these together. Um, so here's the kitchen and you have this nice like uh, It's like a 90 degree angle. I guess window and I don't know if that would be 90 degrees But you you can like you have a nice view you can kind of see the city over there and some other houses And I just really like this room But obviously not finished. All right, so this is the living room That's not supposed to be a curtain, but this is the room that you can enter straight from the foyer and you have these two couches right here and a little table and then some paintings. However, these paintings <laughs> in the city texture pack uh, look a bit random, especially because there's a microwave up here. So just uh, just ignore those. But you have this big great room. I mean, it's huge. It's like 20 blocks tall. And you got that nice little balcony up there to the second floor. And then you have this side room over here. This is one of those things where I think I was gonna have like just a side table near the living room just as some houses do which would connect into this extra room over here um and then in here we have i believe this was a bathroom this was supposed to be a bathroom and i think this side 
was supposed to be storage. So that's just under the stairs. So if we walk over here to the kitchen, we have a little door over here, and this is the master bedroom. Now the crazy thing about this house is the master bedroom is huge. It's like half the size of the house. So you walk in, and the bed was supposed to be, the bed was supposed to be right here. Yeah, the bed was supposed to be right here. And this is all the master bedroom. So you have your closet in here, and then you have your chill area, and you'd have a, a table and like couches and whatnot over here. And then this is, this was gonna be dedicated to the bathroom. So all this area was supposed to be the bathroom. And it's, it's huge, it's ridiculous. Now I do wanna, I do wanna make a new mansion eventually that's just gonna be like ridiculous. Like a, it, it would be like this kind of master bedroom except the whole house would have rooms this big. Cause sometimes I just get a itch to like build like something just ridiculously big for no reason. Um, all right, so now if we exit, the master bedroom. Oh, I, I did forget. There is a porch in the master bedroom right here. And I know this tour is kind of all over the place, but this house is all over the place, so that's just how we're going to roll with it. But yeah, you got a nice little porch and you can overlook your your gardens and whatnot. All right, so moving back to the kitchen, we have... So that, that completes the interior for the first, uh, first floor, but we do have a little door that goes out to the... Uh, I guess backyard balcony and then or the backyard porch and then if we go back to these stairs over here we'll just go up to the second floor and you just have this nice little area where you can look off to the front or look off to the back just an open concept kind of feel and you get here and you have two different two different pathways so we'll go this way first here we have a bedroom and a bathroom and they're they're fairly good size like for a guest bedroom and a guest bathroom. Now they're not really near the master bedroom, but I mean that is the master. But yeah, they're they're the exact same on both sides. And then if we go to the other side, we have another uh, bedroom and bathroom. It's a little different setup, and there that was supposed to be a painting. And then in here we have another odd setup for the bedroom and bathroom. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I I I can't figure out why. I didn't just do the same thing over here that I did over here and put the painting here so it'd be symmetrical. But for some reason, I just didn't do that. And I'm, I feel like there was a purpose, but that I cannot remember. And that is all that's on the interior. So the reason I put like tons of bedrooms up here is because I really wanted to get the bedroom and bathroom number up because the more bedrooms and bathrooms your house has, the bigger it's like looked at overall. And just to show like a quick uh, little hidden feature, um, I could have easily put another floor in this place. Like this roof is huge. And I can't tell you why there are redstone torches right here, but there are. Um, but yeah, so I ended up making the roof a lot bigger than I meant to. But oh well, I, like I feel like the reason I didn't expand to like a third floor is because I couldn't really get like a staircase that would kind of blend in with the floor plan. I feel like it would look weird if you had like another staircase over here or something. All right, so now we'll move on to the outside because this is where this this house actually like, this is where it, it shines, it's, it's nice. Oh, and also I wanna tell y'all about the lighting outside. So if we quickly, if we quickly turn this switch off, it actually turns off all the lights around the house. So I'll just fly above real quick. Or I mean most of them. Oh, yeah, so everything's dark as you can see. But now, if I quickly fly inside and turn the switch on, you will see that everything in the backyard is now all lit up, unlike before. And I just wanted to make that like a little hidden feature because that's just, that's just a really cool little thing that most houses don't have, or most people don't put in houses uh, in Minecraft. Um, all right, so here we have the backyard. The backyard consists of a pool, a pool house, a little fountain, and just, you know, bushes and whatnot. Oh yeah, and a little dock, forgot about that. So this is where you'd pull up, you know, your little boat and whatnot. And then this is just decoration, make the place look nice. There's This is a huge pool, it's in like the shape of a bean. And it's got like three different layers, I think. Yeah, and then the pool house doesn't have anything in it, but I was originally gonna put like a ping pong table and just things to chill out like a pool house would have. 
that's kind of everything for the back side of the house. Another neat little feature is this was actually like all this was this these waterways right here were connecting at one point. And when I built the house, I actually just bridged the gap between these two pieces of land and made it just kind of appear that it was more of an isthmus kind of uh, type of land formation. When in reality, it was just I built the house in the middle of the water. But I think it turned out quite well and it blends in fairly nice. All right, so we'll go to the front of the house now. So here we have the, uh, well, this is all the forest for the house, like all of that, even outside of the fence, just that whole area. And then over here, I wanted like a little bit of a lawn because every nice house has like a nice little lawn that's just very taken care of. So that's what this little area is. And that goes on and merges into the fire pit area. And this is just where you can come and like, I guess, chill out with the fam and just have a nice, have a nice bonfire over here. And it perfectly flows into the land. I mean, I, I did a little sculpting to make it a little more circular, but that, I, I just feel like that works perfectly right there. That, that is one thing. This house, the landscaping on this house is just, oh, it's, it's solid. It's so good. Especially with the vineyards. Like, look at, look at how the trees flow in with the the curves and whatnot like that that is nice but uh enough enough of me just boosting myself uh here's the here's the vineyards and in the vineyards we have a little pathway that leads to this now this is so extra but i just had to add it in you got a little hot tub over here where you can chill but then you also have a nice diving board like an olympic style diving board where you can just even the friends can just like send it into the water over here and then hop in the hot tub if the water's cold. And it's just a nice, it's a nice little area just to hang out. And one of those features that's just like, you can't do anything with it in Minecraft, but if it was in real life, it would be really cool. But that, that completes the tour of this house. I know it's, it's a little, like the inside's a little rough and whatnot, but in total, it's it's still a really cool house and it's got a really cool like area and like I mean most houses aren't built on a peninsula and whatnot. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe got some inspiration from this. That's mainly why I do these tours even though these houses aren't complete. Just so people can get inspiration from certain little things like that diving board and whatnot. But yeah, um, go check out some of my other tours and uh, like my yacht and my office building and uh, yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.